liberty and justice for all. To understand the filibuster, you really might want to start to look at the rules of the Senate. And the rules of the Senate are amazing because they allow any senator, a single senator out of all 100, to simply stand up and object. And they can halt legislation, very major, with the longest filibuster ever, um, by the senator from South Carolina, Strom Thurmond, spoke for 24 hours, more than 24 hours, as they were trying to block and, and really derail the 1957 Civil Rights Act. So there are these historic um, occasions over the years, but you know, over time, uh, the filibuster has become more commonplace. One of the Senate uh, leaders, Senator Dick Durbin from Illinois the other day said, it's no longer Mr. Smith goes to Washington, it's Mr. Smith phones it in. Because senators can simply sort of signal that they will oppose a bill or object a bill um, and that signal is, is um, a way to, to sort of conduct a filibuster without having to stand there on the floor all day and all night to raise their objections. There's like a skyrocketing number of filibusters. Sometimes you don't even know which senator is actually conducting the filibuster or who has raised the objection. We now have on average 80 filibusters a year because of the urging and direction of the senator from Kentucky, Senator McConnell. And so a number of Democratic senators are saying, look, let's just get rid of the filibuster, go back to a straight 51 vote threshold and pass these agenda items. Other Democrats are wary. A lot of the centrist Democrats say, look, you know, they want to stick to the rules. They would need all their Democratic senators on board to change the rules. And the Senate Democratic leaders just don't have that right now. But Senator Manchin has said he would be interested in this talking filibuster idea. And now with President Biden talking about that as well, this is something that could push forward. Not necessarily changing the rules, but just sort of requiring the filibuster to be sort of articulated the way it was back, back when. Nobody serving in this chamber can even begin, can even begin to imagine what a completely scorched earth Senate would look like. What Senate Republican leader McConnell was implying was that Republicans would pull out all the stops and um, really grind the Senate to the halt by not giving consent to even these very basic Senate operations. And, um, and that could be a problem for Democrats as well. So Democrats have to sort of weigh all these potential risks and rewards as they decide what, what they want to do.